the search. And I want you just to look at her breathing, her ears, her tail, her expression. And remember, let her direct the search. You don't need to push her into going anywhere. And go back down Here, one more time. Oh, go down one more time? Go down, go down one more time. Let her focus down. on the opposite side a little bit. Down. Come on. Good girl. Down. And I'd say finish, come out, come. Yes, we found that. We found Good, that. Girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Say Good finish. Girl. Finish. Okay, come out finish. away from the Let's tables. Go. go give her a treat. Let's go. Come here. Girl. Let's go out this way. Come here. Come Good here. girl, here. Scouty. All done. All Good done. girl. All done. Okay. All done. Now, Good while you're feeding her her treat. Here. Come here. Good girl. Here, Scouty. Come here, Scouty. Tell me what you saw. Okay. Is that what it seemed like? I mean, Pretty I much. thought the first time she went down, she was telling me, there's not anything, I don't smell anything here. So. Okay. And, and what did that look like to you? What did it look like when she said there's nothing here? It looked like a dog that wasn't, I don't know. It was like she was air sending and there was just nothing there, so she just okay. wasn't even going so to So she never dry. went into odor? Correct. She kept coming back to the same one. Yes. Um, she didn't give you any indications anywhere else of anything, even as, with as windy as it is, of what she might have been interested in. Um, and what the next thing you'll tend to see is they'll st start standing and looking at you. Okay. Um, and looking at you like, okay, where do you think it is? Since you seem to think there's another one out here, where do you think it is? Um, some of the Shelties will bark. <laughs> Robbie was a barker. And impatient. Um, and get impatient. Like, come on, Mom. Yeah. So start looking at her and know when. And, and you have to look at a couple of things, okay? So you had a very finite search area. And you covered that search area very thoroughly a good three times. And she never went into odor on anything else. Okay? So you got to make sure you cover your whole search area. You got to make sure that you get her back into corners and get her into difficult areas. But if she's just not showing you anything, hey man, you just gotta call it and take your chances. And and I think the longer you work with them, the more confident you get. And I think some dogs are easier. I think a dog like Edgy is gonna be very, very hard to clear a room on, because she's much more subtle. Robbie, honest to God, I, I felt very confident about him. That's why I was so bummed that we didn't get to go a whole lot further, because I really felt good about that, and that was never where our NQs were. We were never on clearing rooms or, or being wrong about number of hides. It was more about um, not quite getting in there and localizing them or me making boneheaded mistakes and stuff. But but a lot of it is just knowing how your dog works. And Scouty, uh, the way Scouty works, she's, she's a real clear, consistent, honest worker, at least from what I've been seeing. And I don't think she's gonna be that hard to read. On containers, she falls to work a lot. 
Containers are a whole different ballgame. Because <laughs> containers are not a where is it. Containers are a yes or no on each individual one. Yeah. And you can really push them into false alerting, as I have found to my dismay. Um, Plus, you know, they get the rewards on boxes. They've been playing toys with that's, games this with is boxes. True. So. This is true. But so what we'll start to do with these guys when we, and we'll probably wait and do it when we go inside just because it's a windy time of year, we'll put down a lot of blank boxes in our interior searches so that blank boxes just become part of the picture. Um, and then there, there's always blank boxes. And then um, there's some really interesting search patterns that you don't want to work with a real real green dog but as they get more experience you can add in you can do like um, spirals um, and make it all the way at the very end and they have to work a lot of empty boxes till they get to the spiral and I have an exercise that we worked on in our last class um, that I thought was a really good one for getting good solid strong indications and not rewarding false alerts and the dogs loved it. They thought it was a great game. We'll play that game again too. So okay. 